successful business sparks from an idea, a passion. In four episodes, we'll meet entrepreneurs and inventors to find out what they've learned during the process of starting their own ventures. Welcome to Peeps. I'm in Finnish Portugal, visiting a server who saw an opportunity in the hospitality industry that demanded higher standard than currently offered. What you see here is Surfers Lodge Finnish. I have um, 70 rooms. Uh, one restaurant, one bar, a terrace with a pool and jacuzzi. We also have a massage room in the basement, a cinema, uh, a surf room and a ping pong table as well. Oh, here we have the hippie room. You got the love sign made from old um, oil canisters. The headboard is made from old um, jeans tags. I used to work in a surf camp and I saw that a lot of the younger crew, they enjoyed it, you know, they were partying a lot, they were sleeping in bunk beds, they were accepted the low standard of accommodation just because surf was so nice. We have a really cool hand-painted toilet here as well. Like the plan from the beginning was just to have like a, sm a few small rooms, no restaurant, no bar, and then all of a sudden the project just grew and grew and now it's a four-star lodge. I had a dream when I was 12 years old that I was surfing and that has pretty much guided me through my whole life, you know. I surfed more and more and that's the reason why I started this lodge, to be able to be close to the ocean and still make a, make a living out of it. My guest is someone who is a little bit older than um, the normal surf camp travelers. Try it. People who want to learn how to surf, but they still want to have good quality accommodation and good food, you know, like they've made a little bit more money in life and they don't want to stay in bunk beds anymore. I think you haven't surfed before, yeah? Are you very impulsive as a person? Yeah. Very, very impulsive. I just see things that I want to do when I do it. It's quite big, but it's a good beginner board. Sometimes it's quite dumb, you know, because you throw yourself into something that sometimes feels way too big. The good thing about it is that it helps you to make quick decisions. And the bad thing is that I guess sometimes you make the wrong decisions. But, you know, at least it's a decision. So uh, this is the restaurant section here. Uh, you got an open kitchen. What are the three elements of success according to you? I'm not the most organized person. Or just because I know that, I know what kind of expertise I need within the company or within the organization. And that is the most important thing, knowing what you're good at and knowing what you're bad at. The second thing is to always be flexible, you know, like see every situation when it comes and be flexible, think outside the box, what can I do to make things better. And uh, the third thing I think is that you have to have a passion with what you do. So this is the, the Woodstock room. As a boss, I think I'm pretty loose. I'm pretty uh, relaxed boss, you know. I don't tell people exactly what to do. I like to give people their own responsibilities and uh, grow within the company, you know. Is that working out for you? So far, yes. But we haven't seen the high season yet. So, I mean, like, we pretty much just started and with the low season, it's much easier. They say within it takes around three years for a new hotel to run smoothly. I've been open for five months now, so I've got another two, two and a half years to go. Do you still surf as much? Not as much, but uh, I still surf. I'm more of a wave snob. I like good weather, I like offshore winds, I like perfect waves. But also it's important to surf quite a bit because it clears my mind, it makes me think more straight. <laughs> 